What's up, Twitter and YouTube? JG's back. <clears throat> well, um, situation of, uh, about Tal Volcano is, well, uh, troublesome as usual. So, this morning, uh, well, we were, we were able to clean up the, uh, the ash, the ash that was left. And uh, I haven't I haven't dealt with the uh, I haven't dealt with with all of the all of the houses front page yet because <clears throat> there's so much ash to deal with. Okay, <clears throat> I dealt with the easy I dealt with the uh, with the easiest first, which is the garage, right? Well, I, all I did was well, a little water here, a little water there, and it's out on the street. All right, it's out on the street. Now, that's not what we're going to talk about right now. All right, I just gave you my status because well. Everybody's trying to, everybody in the Calabarzon area is trying to keep safe because, well, if you've, uh, if you've, uh, if you're in the Philippines and you've been watching, if you've been uh, keeping tabs on what's happening, several towns in Batangas have already been, have already been evacuated. Right? Several, not several towns, a few towns, all right? The town of Agoncillo, Batangas. It's not considered a ghost town, right? No one's, no, no single living being is already is uh, is there anymore, right? But again, that's not what we're going to talk. That's not that's not what we're going to talk about, right? <clears throat> now, <clears throat> in the old days when a disaster like this happens, people would normally leave their pets behind, right? Kawawa naman, kawawa naman, all right? But the lessons learned from Hurricane Katrina, all right, you know, you know, guys, what you know, what Hurricane Katrina is all about. It nearly wiped out the city of New Orleans in the U.S. Right, a lot of animals died in that uh, in that so in that it's considered a superstorm right now because of the extent of the damage. A lot of animals died, right? Mostly pets. Now. <clears throat> the whole world learned from that lesson. Here, here in the Philippines, now they may, you know, may disaster. Uh, the rescue workers, the rescue workers announced that always announced that take to take your pets with you, all right? Because well, it's a volcanic eruption. Kait sa mga hayop delikado yan. Okay, delikado malang hap yung yung ash. <clears throat> so what I did with our, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> what I did with our with our family pet, uh, with our family dog, we let him we let him sleep inside the house, right? Agabe. We let him sleep inside the house. Uh, he was he was sound asleep, all right. And for the first time, for the first time in probably probably a while, I was able to sleep for six hours straight at night. <laughs> Kasi hindi tumatawal yung aso for 6 hours straight. He was he was fast asleep sa living room namin. <laughs> he was fast asleep, all right, for the first time. So that's that's probably the only thing I will thank Tal Volcano for it. <laughs> Tuloy-tuloy yung tulog ko, all right, for 6 hours straight. First time in a long while. Now, <clears throat> always see the good side of things, all right? Always see the good side of things. That's what I've learned, okay? That's the uh, the primary thing uh, to learn when it comes to uh, when it comes to disasters. Always look on the bright side. Always look on the bright side. All right. That's uh, that, take it from me. All right. I've already experienced it. Just look on the bright side, especially if there's a uh, especially if there's a natural disaster. Okay. Catch you guys later.